Hello and welcome to National Focus. I'm Pearl Fontaine. Thanks for joining us. Topping the headlines, hoteliers applauded for their continued investment. Local nurses commended for their dedication to their country. And Agnes Harry from Belfast celebrated her 100th birthday on Wednesday. All these stories and more when National Focus returns. Hello, I am Bishop Gabriel Malze, Bishop of Roseau, and I am Dominica. Are you? Welcome back. Time now for the details of the news. Prime Minister Honorable Roosevelt Skerritt has applauded those who continue to invest in the tourism sector. The Dominica leader was on Monday addressing the 2012 Tourism Industry Award ceremony at Crazy Coconuts. The ceremony marked the start of the observance of Tourism Awareness Month. Awards were presented to several establishments who had excelled in the service provided to their clients during the year. The Dominica leader noted that bearing in mind the current financial challenges facing the globe, those who take great risks to invest in the sector should be applauded. And I believe that we as a country must recognize the boldness of individuals who have taken on the risk of investing in Dominica. In some instances, these people have, in fact, mortgaged everything they own to provide jobs and to expand the economy of Dominica. And therefore, all of us must provide that kind of recognition, must provide that kind of support required by the investors to ensure their profitability and a positive return on the investments. And we in the government are mindful of that. And this is one of the reasons why we have tried our best in difficult circumstances to negotiate for better loan facilities, better interest rates, utilizing the aid bank to facilitate that kind of investment. Meantime, Prime Minister Skerritt also appealed to local financial institutions to work with the hoteliers to ensure that these businesses are sustained. I want to speak publicly to the other commercial banks, that they have to be a little bit more sensitive to the challenges confronting the tourism industry. And they have to exercise while they have to maintain prudence and certain uh, requirements. But you also have to be sympathetic to the industry and to those who have been ex ex excellent um, clients of yours, customers of yours. And if they're having some difficulty, clearly there must be some room for some kind of special consideration in this present, present difficult circumstance. Because the world is going through a tremendous challenge. There are many tourism um, plants across the world that are having great difficulties in larger populations with better air access, uh, with better infrastructure. So it is not only here in Dominican the Caribbean we're experiencing that kind of difficulties. I mean, hotels have had to, to drop their rates dramatically in order to attract guests uh, accepting um, um, to, to, to lose money for the particular month just to ensure that they have guests, at least they can meet um, some of the commitments to the financial institutions. So I'm saying to the, um, to the uh, commercial... Officials of the Rotary Club of Dominica on Wednesday presented an audio meter to the Princess Margaret Hospital. The medical device is used for evaluating hearing loss. This is one of the efforts by the service club to enhance the island's healthcare system. About three years ago, the mother of a particularly challenged young woman recounted to me that her daughter needed the replace, a replacement hearing aid and the cost was so prohibitive that it was beyond the means of the family at that time. And thus began my interest in hearing and providing a service for people with hearing difficulties. I was fortunate, and I'm going to give you a lesson in, um, in partnering and networking. I was fortunate to meet with Dr. Susan Kelly 
of Ross University School of Medicine sometime later at a Rotary function. <coughs> and after some discussions, we began to work on a project, first to replace the hearing aid for the young woman, and in partnership to bring a hearing mission to Dominica. Director of Primary Healthcare, Dr. Martin Christmas, accepted the audio meter on behalf of the Ministry of Health. He spoke of the importance of the device and the continued support by the Rotary Club towards the enhancement of healthcare in Dominica. The Rotary Club of Dominica has been contributing significantly to healthcare in Dominica, particularly primary healthcare. And we all remember the contributions through the Vosh Vision mission, um, mission, the hearing mission which we just heard about, and also the contribution in the area of um, foot care training with the step-by-step -step training. And uh, of course we are once again going to celebrate another kind of gesture from the Rotary Club of Dominica, ably supported by the assistance of Domlek and uh, ACS and New India Assurance. And, uh, we are indeed very pleased to be able to receive this because you see um, both of these um, organizations share something in common and it has to do with their commitment to service. The Rotary Club is a social club dedicated to providing services to the less fortunate and the Ministry of Health itself and uh, by extension primary health care has that commitment and duty of providing services to persons in our communities. and. Uh, among these services, we would realize that healthcare is very important and an important part of that is hearing. Prime Minister Honorable Roosevelt Skerritt has defended a decision taken by government to appoint private sector representatives on the board of directors of the National Bank of Dominica. He explained that this will allow bank officials to understand the needs of those in the private sector. I've appointed somebody in the private sector and that will be a consistent um, decision where somebody from the private sector shall sit on the National Bank Board so that they can bring their own experiences and the experiences of the rest of the private sector to the, to the board's attention so that special arrangements, special facilities can be tailored in response to the challenges confronting the private sector as a whole. Agnes Harry of Belfast has joined the growing list of centenarians on the island. A short ceremony was held for the 100-year-old on Wednesday, which was attended by acting president of Dominica, Dr. Conrad McIntyre, and members of her family. On behalf of the government and people of the Commonwealth of Dominica, and on my own behalf, I wish to extend to you my congratulations and good wishes on the occasion of the celebration of your 100th birthday, today on Wednesday, the 2nd of May, 2012. May the good Lord continue to bless you always. GIS News will bring you more details of Wednesday's ceremony in Thursday's newscast. Principal nursing officer at the Princess Margaret Hospital, Cesarina Ferrell, commends nurses for remaining dedicated to Dominica despite offers to take their skills abroad. Ferrell also applauds the government of Dominica for providing satisfactory incentives to reward their commitment. These comments were made at a press conference to mark the launch of a month of activities to celebrate nurses and nursing. The forum was held on Tuesday at the government headquarters. Our nurses are very hardworking, um, even over the past decade that uh, the, the health services in almost every country of the region and internationally has been impacted by the um, international migration and we have seen the commitment and resilience of our nurses. Despite all the shortages, we were able to sustain all of our health services. There are countries where we had to, there, there, were, there were services which had to be shut down, institutions which had to be, you know, um, closed because of the shortages. But in Dominica, and I must um, recognize to the support of our, of our government, where we were able to take, to institute initiatives to sustain our nursing service and the healthcare of our country despite all the challenges that we will face. Activities carded for the period May 1 to June 3 includes International Nurses Day to be observed on May 12th 
and an award ceremony carded for June 3rd. A video launching is also planned for the month of May. We are also expected to expected to um, launch a video on the 14th of, of um, May. This video is um, dubbed Inside Nursing Service and here we hope to showcase um, a lot of what we would want to tell the, the, the public or to inform the public about our nursing service. Additionally, Nurse Ferrell expressed hopes that with the help of patients, partners and well-wishers, this period would be one of assessment and development for the nursing service. We continue to depend on you to work with us to promote um, professionalism and excellence. That is our hallmark. This is our vision. Um, but we know that we cannot do it alone. We cannot do it alone. We need. We invite this partnership. We need persons to take ownership for the health. We need our partners to help us in from uh, in our day-to-day -day activities. To let us know where we go wrong and let us know where we go wrong in a meaningful way, in a positive way that we can take action to to make corrections, to make amendments. Um, sometimes you you may hear um, issues or, or or you know some things on the on the, in the media and. Um, they are not clarified, they are not verified, and um, it's, it, you know, the end product is a breakdown in morale and demotivation. So we would really want, um, we really want this to be an opportunity where we can improve things. We can improve things within the nursing service, as well as we can improve the partnership that we share with the, with the public. Dominicans are being encouraged to come out in large numbers on Monday, May 7, to take a hike with the clergy. The activity, which is the first of its kind to take place in Dominica, is being held to raise funds for a major conference of the diocesan priest of the province of Castries, which will be held in Dominica in January next year. The hike will take place on segment 13 of the Waitakubali National Trail and will span from the village of Penville to Capuchin. Parish priest of Portsmouth, Herman Sharpless, is the hike coordinator. The event on Monday is, begins with the hike on segment 13, that is from Penville to Capuchin, and the people are called to gather in Penville from about 7 a.m. in the morning. The hike is about a three, to, three hours and a half walk, and we are expecting people to come from all over Dominica. The, People are asked to register in the various parishes, the, the various parish priests, and organize transportation to bring people to Penville. If you come with a private vehicle and you get to Bell Hall, you park your vehicle in Bell Hall and there'll be a vehicle to take you from Bell Hall to, to, to Penville. Then once people make it to Capuchin, people will be transported from Capuchin to Bell Hall. The hike coordinator is hoping that Dominicans will seize the opportunity to participate in the hike as the activity will seek to promote wellness and healthy living. We also want to use the, the walk to promote wellness, to encourage the Dominican public that we need to walk more. Um, there is a lot of talk about how big people have gotten, how fat and overweight and, and, and obese. And so we, we see it as an opportunity to encourage our people to come out there and walk more. The hike will also be an opportunity for Dominicans to discover and appreciate the island's natural beauty. The trail is ours and uh, why should people come from overseas and speak so beautifully about our own things when we have something to know about it. So it's an opportunity for us to discover the beauty of Dominica, the beauty of our country the beauty of, 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 of that part of the island. Of course, it's very close. It's, from there, you can see Martinique and Guadeloupe. So the scenery there is very breathtaking. And just to, 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 to assure the public that anybody can do that work. The work is not only um, for, 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 for the well to do, because it's a very easy walk. It's a beautiful trail. And so from young children to adults, once you're strong enough, you can do the work. The walk will end with a number of family fun activities. We have going to be having talks from various officials, and then we have um, sporting activities, and then various um, performances. There will be lots of eats and, and, and eats and drinks on sale, and people, we can just I want to assure you that it's going to be a day of tremendous fun, a day of tremendous gathering, a day, a day of tremendous socializing. So, the hike with the clergy on Monday, May 7, will be attended by His Lordship Gabriel Malzair, Prime Minister Honorable Roosevelt Skerritt, and Tourism Minister Honorable Ian Douglas. And that's news. When we come back, we'll bring you the upcoming events and government notices. Stay tuned. Dominica is a blessed land with so much to offer to its citizens and visitors alike. 
Someone truly experiencing Dominica will feel a sense of renewal, rebirth, rejuvenation, and even a sense of spiritual uplifting. The sound of nature at every turn and the sights of those pure gifts from above. Hello, I am Bishop Gabriel Malzer, Bishop of Roseau, and I am Dominica. Are you? You're watching GIS. The government of the Republic of Cuba is inviting applications for scholarships from citizens of Dominica below the age of 25 years to pursue studies in medicine for the 2012-2013 academic year. Applicants should possess a minimum of five CXC passes, including the science subjects with grades one and two or equivalent qualifications. Application forms together with copies of curriculum vitae, birth certificate and certified copies of all academic qualifications must be submitted to the Permanent Secretary, Ministry of Education and Human Resource Development, Government Headquarters, Roseau, Commonwealth of Dominica. Application forms and further information can be obtained from the Ministry of Education and Human Resource Development. The deadline for receipt of applications is May 16, 2012. Public officers must apply through their heads of department. The general public is informed that from May 1, 2012, the office of the White Okobali National Trail Management Unit will no longer be located on Hodges Lane in Roseau. During the week ending May 5, the Management Trail Unit will be moving to its new office location at Pont Cassé, which is expected to interfere with provision of normal services to the public. Effective May 8, the Trail Management Unit will resume normal functioning and will operate from the WNT Research and Interpretation Facility, the headquarters for the trail at Pont Cassé. In addition, the Trail Management Unit will also operate a desk at the Forestry Division on Valley Road, Roseau for ease of contact, liaison to the main office, and dissemination of information. Information about the trail will also be available at the Tourist Information Center on the Bayfront. Residents of Cochrane are invited to a community meeting on Thursday, May 3, 2012 at 6 p.m. at the Cochrane School. The purpose of the meeting is to elect a new Village Improvement Committee. Up next is the tip of the day. In today's tip, we'll discuss coconut oil for skin care. Coconut oil is excellent massage oil for skin care. It acts as an effective moisturizer on all types of skin, including dry skin. The benefit of coconut oil on the skin is comparable to that of mineral oil. Further, unlike mineral oil, there is no chance of having any adverse side effects on the skin with the application of the oil. Coconut oil, therefore, is a safe solution for preventing dryness and flaking of skin. It also delays wrinkles and sagging of skin, which normally becomes prominent with age. Coconut oil also helps in treating various skin problems, including psoriasis, dermatitis, eczema, and other skin infections. And that's National Focus. As usual, we invite your suggestions or comments. Please feel free to drop us an email at gis at dominica.gov.dm or you can visit our website at news.gov.dm. On behalf of the entire news production team, I'm Pearl Fontaine. Thanks for watching.